everybody, it's me Nia. I recently went on holiday and it was my first time flying, but nobody told me about the duty free shops in the airport, so I had the most amazing time there because everything's so much cheaper. I was planning to buy some benefit makeup anyway, but when I got to the duty free area, there was this massive counter with loads of benefit makeup. So I started talking to this woman who worked there and she gave me a quick makeover and loads of free samples so many free samples so I started to pick out some bits and bobs of makeup to buy and when I got up to the till she started giving me loads of money off coupons and it just ended up being a real bargain so I thought now that I've got together lots of benefit makeup the logical thing to do would be to film a full face of benefit makeup so that's what I'm gonna do when I came across this in duty free I was absolutely shocked because well you can see the size of it i've had this primer before and i've used the whole hours on myself i've used the whole thing up before and honestly it's such an amazing primer i'd even go as far as to say it's my favorite because it just makes your makeup last all day it makes your skin feel so soft when you put it on as well and I don't know why, I think it's the colour of it, but it reminds me of peanut butter. But when I came across this one, it was so massive compared to the normal size, I was just, I just had to get it. It was a lot more expensive than the other one, but it's going to last me a lot longer. Oh, it's upside down. I got this Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. I got it in the shade I'm Pure For Sure Ivory, which is their lightest shade. I think I'd use my Body Shop Lightening Drops with this foundation because it just seems a bit orange for me. Damn, that's so disappointing. I was really looking forward to this foundation. It just seems a bit too dark for me. It just makes me look a little bit like a baked bean, you know? Which is not a look that I go for on a daily basis. I mean, it doesn't look awful, but it's definitely not my perfect shade. I have wanted this for the absolute longest time. I don't know how you open it. Oh, it's from the side. They used to sell this as a raised paste, but they've changed all of their concealers to boing concealers so this one is the boing brightening concealer if anyone wanted to get a rose paste and they're like what happened to a rose paste it's now the boing brightening concealer i'm gonna take this under my eyes when i had my makeup done she blended it in with her finger just like this and she took it up a bit here i really like this concealer it reminds me of the rimmel lasting perfection lasting finish something like that i got that ages ago because i really wanted to get a raised paste but i didn't have the money so i got the rimmel one and said that this is honestly you can tell the difference you can tell how much better this is i wasn't planning on getting this but when i was there the woman tried the foundation on and then she was like, if you want the perfect powder to go with it, then I would get this one. It is the Hello Flawless powder in the shade I Love Me Ivory, and it's got SPF 15 in. I'm not applying this on my under eye areas too much because she left them when she did my makeup and she left these areas because in a bit when I used the highlight, she put the highlight there and it made it stick better. But I do think this is just, it does match it pretty well, I'm, I'll give it that. But she did kind of sell it to me while I was there. I probably wouldn't have got it if she wasn't like, oh yeah, look this powder. So she did a good job there making me buy this powder. I've had the normal classic hula for the longest time now. So I was very excited when they brought out a hula light. I am not the most tanned of people. So they brought out a lighter bronzer because if you've been watching my videos you probably know that I don't actually use this for bronzer, I use it for a contour because it's just too dark to be a bronzer for me so I use it as a contour, it's just like a perfect contour shade for me. So this is more of a bronzer shade 
and I'm just going to bronze up my face. I've used this once or twice before and it's actually very nice to give you a subtle bronze, just make you look more awake and like it's got more dimension to it. That is the one. Of course I'm going to go in with my Ordinary Hula and like I said earlier, I use this as a contour shade. It just gives your face more sculpted it out look. You've got to blend it out though obviously because I'm not going to leave it like this. Can you imagine if I just walked down the road looking like this? I remember when me and Zayna were doing a makeup challenge, I think it might have been the tentacle one, and Zayna didn't realise how pigmented this bronzer was. So she went full on into the, she full on went into the pan and then she did the biggest onto my face. And it was so funny because she was like, oh, I didn't realise it was that pigmented. This one is, funnily enough, another one which I didn't go in thinking that I would actually get. It is the Dandelion Twinkle Highlight, which I'm actually very happy that I got. It's this gorgeous kind of shimmery pinky, oh sorry, shimmery pinky shade. It's so pretty and she put it on over the concealer because it made it stick better and just made it pop a bit more. I'm going to take this on my cheek brush. I just think this can be built up. Right now it looks very natural but if I put on more and layered it up a bit it could be good for if I was going on a night out or something like that and oh I just I am so glad that I got it. This is so cool. It's this Fair Real Duo Shadow Blender and she explained it to me in the shop basically. You have your eyeshadow and there's a strip of a light shade, a strip of a dark shade and you have this little, it's like a little makeup beauty sponge thing. The idea is that you go in like that and you just, and you blend it out and you've just got really simple eyeshadow without any effort basically. It looks like this, there's a light line and a, no, there's a light bit and a dark bit and you flip it around like this and you just go for it in your crease, can you see? Like that, it looks like that. I'm gonna blend it out, don't even worry. I just don't know why no one's thought of this, it's such a good idea. I didn't get an eyeliner, I know that they do one, I think it's called the Very Real Push Up Liner, something like that. I was going to get it, but I got other things instead like the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to go straight to mascara, but first I'm going to do eyelash primer. I got the tester for this a while back because Daisy had a subscription to Elle magazine and she got the primer tester but she didn't really like the Their Real one, so she gave it to me and I wanted it ever since, so I'm so happy that I got that. I remember I was using it practically every single day in, I think it was October. To be honest, if you were just feeling it, you could probably just wear the primer as a brown mascara, but I am gonna go in with the Their Real mascara on one of my eyes and the Roller Lash on the other one. I had this mascara a while back it was my go-to I loved it so much but unfortunately it ran out and it breaks my heart every time I think about it because the other day I was trying to use it but it was all dried up and it just made me so sad and then I got this and I'm so happy now and on the other side I'm just going to be using the roller lash I feel like there's quite a lot of difference between the mascaras, like this one gives more volume and this one separates them out more, but I love both mascaras. If you made me choose between them, I'd 
probably wouldn't be able to. This next thing is a tester. It's the Foolproof Brow Powder Soft Filling Powder. I don't think this has actually been released yet, or when I'm filming this, this hasn't actually been released yet. But the lady was really sweet and she gave me, whoa, this is in shade five. Okay, that is not gonna be my shade, but just for this video's sake. She gave this to me, she was like, oh, this hasn't been released yet, but would you like to try this? And I was like, um, yes. It's a bit like the eyeshadow thing. You get a blender and you sweep the lighter shade from the start of your brow to the arch and then you sweep the deeper shade from the arch to the tail end of the brow. I'm really nervous about this. That is definitely not my colour. This is quite hard to... What? Hello everybody, it's me Nia. I feel like if this was my shade I would be loving this because it's actually a pretty cool idea. And then I'm going to take the darker shade, which literally looks black. Here. That is my brow. What do you think? Comment down below your opinions of my brow. I mean, usually, my, like, I do my eyebrows before my mascara. And then they look fine. No, they look really crazy. And then when I do my mascara, it looks fine. But... I've done my mascara and then I just did my brows and my brows just look absolutely crazy. Please get out. Ugh! I can't tell if this is the mini or if it's just the normal size because, or is the mini like half of that? I can't get over how dark my eyebrows actually are. <laughs> this is crazy. I was going to film another video after this as well and now I think I'm going to have to redo my eyebrows because they just look so crazy. Okay, I think that's actually lightened down my eyebrow a little bit. I'm gonna do the other one. I don't have a lipstick, so the final thing is gonna be a tester. It's the Punchy Juicy Bright and Bold Punch Pop Liquid Lip Color in the shade Watermelon. Apparently this has got vitamin E and shine and color in it. I was given two shades. One of them was this bright, vibrant, pink shade watermelon and the other was called bubblegum and it was more of a oh cute and it was more of a nudie pink well i can't deny this is a pop of color <laughs> i can't get over my eyebrows i mean i'm not the biggest fan of the color but the formula is actually pretty nice it doesn't feel wait do i have lipstick on my teeth it feels moisturising, it doesn't feel very drying and if the wind blew my hair would probably get stuck in it, that's pretty annoying. It's a bit like a not as thick Clarins lip oil, if you, if you get me. So this is the finished look, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, comment down below your favourite product by Benefit or the best product you think I tried. I think my favourite thing is probably this eyeshadow because it's just such a genius idea. Like, it literally blew my mind. And I will see you next time. Goodbye!